Georgia Renaissance Festival. That's right. We really enjoy this festival. Yeah, especially opening day. The weather is perfect. The and atmosphere, it's like electric out here. Oh yeah, that excitement of the first day. Woo! And we hope you come along on this adventure-filled Renaissance guide to all of our must-dos, our must-sees. Yes, and what we experienced today. In the shows, the food. Yeah, the, the shows. Shopping. What else? Let's the try not to do too much a, of that, there's a, Sandy. There's a goose right in front of us. And, <laughs> and the costumes. So what are we costume. waiting for, Sandy? Let's go. Let's get ready to go on this renaissance-filled uh, adventure that rocks. Ready for an adventure, buddy? I think so. Just to give you an idea about showing up early, remember the Renaissance Festival doesn't start till 10.30 and people start lining up as early as 9.30 and it's only 9.48 right now. Look how many people are already here, including Sandy. They even have a meeting place. That way, if I ever get lost, I can just wait here and Sandy knows where to find me. One day, I keep saying, I'd love to do this corkscrew tower. I've always loved the look of it. And it hits you right when you first walk in. Brood Awakenings is everyone's favorite stop in the morning for a cup of coffee. Yeah, they got some good flavors. I like this coffee. However, we do know a second location to get that cup of joe early in the morning with no line. Yeah. Let's go. One of our favorite tips. Sandy loves getting coffee in the morning. Up at the front of the castle grounds, the line can get a little long. However, just keep walking and you'll find yourself a second coffee station with nobody around. Coffee See? Sir. And right behind us, Sandy, you won't believe what they have. What is that? A fried ice cream sandwich. Ooh. I don't know how that works, but I think we're gonna <laughs> find out sooner. Just look for her right behind us. Our first food item. Right, a jumbo sized cupcake that's like half the size of my face. Chocolate. Ooh, I, I can't, can't even. Yeah. Hmm. <gasps> Yum. I, I have, is mm. there, is there, oh. One of the coolest stores across from the Joust is definitely inside the pirate ship. Swords, they definitely have them here. Look at the details on these. And did we mention swords? And more swords of all shapes and sizes. Even Disney royalty makes an appearance out here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Shows! Sandy, there is so many shows to choose from out here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Yeah, you need more definitely than one day to see them all. Now I know why they push their season passes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In order to do absolutely everything, this place is so huge, you need to definitely come more than once. However, let's try to show you some of our favorite shows to check out. She spoke and she wrote about the divine feminine. A moment from now, I'll be pushed below the water. The lid will be sealed on top of me, and I'll need to find my way out of these chains, locks, and shackles. What I'm about to do is very real and very...
Shades on. A popular destination is always the Peacock Tea Room. Yeah, be sure to come early. One day, up, yeah. yeah, one day we'll actually take the time to go there. Sandy. You know what? We should have actually thought about that instead of getting coffee and cupcake. You should just come right here, huh? It has a spot of tea. A spot of tea. Ghosts of the Abyss, do you dare go in? All right, in we go. So if you've never been in here before, just wanted to give you a peek. Wow. It's a little loud in here. Oh, she needs something to eat. You need more beer. More Check out this beer. pirate scene and take a look at old one eye over there. I see you, buddy. She is definitely having a bad day. Oh, I love this mermaid that they have here. That's pretty cool. Hope you enjoyed our brief look inside Ghosts of the Abyss. You know we couldn't have shown you everything. I mean, we gotta leave some surprises in there. There is a lot, and we mean a lot of food options. Yes. I hear the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Yeah, I've seen corn, I've seen a big king's weenie, and guess what today is? I don't know, what's today? <laughs> I have you stumped with the king's weenie, don't I? Yeah. No, today is make lunch count day. So now we gotta really make what we choose here at the fair really count. I saw a steak on a, on a stick, stick, Sandy. A stick? I saw a guy walking by with it. Yeah? Yeah. The turkey legs. Yeah, there's this. So much stuff. Let's see what we can cook. If you're looking for that magical lavender lemonade or the dragon breath creme brulee that was really popular last year, they have moved to a satellite location right across from where you used to get it over at Chateau Hibble, somewhere around there. But you know what I mean. Sausage on a stick. Attractions. There is so much stuff that you can do out here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Yeah, check it, check it out. Oh, look. That it looks really fun. <laughs> and so does he. Just like that. Looking for fun princess hats? Look no further than the Mad Hatter. I don't know if Sandy's gonna be able to figure this out. They also have these cute ears that you can find here at the Mad Hatter. And I like how some of them have bells. Or check out this one with the antlers on it. Would Sandy look good with a pair of antlers? What do you think, Sandy? A new look for me? I like it. Even the ducks enjoying a day out here at the Renaissance Festival. I haven't done this for six months. How about you to be? Hours! <laughs> 88 miles an hour! 88 miles an hour! Well. Are you 
guys waiting for the balloon to come back? <laughs> you gotta come back tomorrow morning. Oh, beer! And they have beer in a lot of places around the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Oh, they yeah. even have pub crawls. Yeah. And you've got to book those fast because they do sell out. Check out the fairy do. I wonder if I can talk Sandy into that or the dragon's nectar. The fairy do is made with lavender honey. We're sharing beer here and look how pretty that is. Have you is. ever seen a purple beer before? That is that lavender honey fairy beer that Sandy's yeah. been drinking and we're sharing it with our friends here. <laughs> One popular establishment happens to be the Drunk Monk Pub. Now this dude knows how to party. <laughs> Capes, they have them as Sandy is demonstrating. Guys, looking for those hard to find costumes? They have them here, Sandy. Yeah, crimson. Leatherworks right here. Check it out. I like these potion or water bottles. They always look so cool. Sandy checking out the foxtails. Is that what they are, Sandy? Or are they just tails? Wonder Woman vibes for your chainmail. You can find it right here. Glad I didn't bring any soap. location every year is definitely this booth filled with crystals. options to choose from. Right now, I went with the steak burrito and fries. They even have macaroni and cheese on a stick. I've got to try to find that. Someone with it. If you had to choose, do you go with kettle corn or do you go with frozen Dole Whip? Or both. There you go. That's the choice right there. <laughs> tip about the shows you want to get here early for a good seat yep for the best seat in the house because the shows do fill up very quickly <laughs> need those wings to get your ferry on you can find all that here at pixie point Fairy wings and things, of course. <laughs> Don't remember this last year, but to the left hand side of the joust is a hookah lounge. What's one thing that's really fun? What's that? is how many people dress up in costumes. Yes, a lot. I love it. And finally this year, I got a little something to add. I'm thinking next year, we come as Marty McFly and Doc Brown. <laughs> Let's do it. I Wait, which one? Who's gonna be who though? We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Gives them a reason to watch for next year. But I would think that'd be fun that we time traveled back here. Yeah. Look who we spot up ahead. I didn't know Merida visited the Renaissance Festival.
Sandy, is there a show out here at Georgia Renaissance Festival that people have to see? Yes. It is always the final show of Barely Balanced. It's their fire show, and it is a not-to-be-missed show for sure. Let's check out some of our favorite clips. The Joust is always popular, and there are three show times to see it. Yep. Let's take a look at the 531. I think a joust is a great way to end our day at the Georgia Renaissance Festival. Absolutely perfect. I just always can't believe when it's over. It goes by so fast. It goes by really fast. Yeah, and I'm already thinking, when are we coming back? Because we didn't get to see it all. Absolutely not. Not even close. We wish we could have showed you more. We just, like Sandy said, we ran out of time because you are having so much fun out here and being immersed in this atmosphere, time just goes by like that. Sure does. But we hope you enjoyed our guide, our must-dos out here at the Georgia Renaissance Festival 2024. If you haven't hit that like and subscribe yet, what you waiting for? Because you really never know where we're gonna end up next. However, if it has anything to do with swords and chivalry, <laughs> it's going to be an adventure that rocks. I need to get me a sword, Sandy. Yeah, we do. I never got that fried ice cream sandwich. Yeah. Next, Next time. time. Thanks everybody, that was our show. Have a great day. Woo! Looking for more fun photos and maybe little mini videos that we didn't include in this video you're watching now? Be sure to check out our TikTok, our Instagram, and our Facebook pages. And we're gonna put those links also in the description down below.